نړیواله ټولنه په افغانستان کې د اقتصادي پرمختګ د پاره د وریښمنو لاره څومره مهمه ګڼي او په خپل افغانستان خپل دغه هدف ته د رسیدو لپاره څه کولای شي د دې مسلې لومړی برخه مو په البته نورو پروګرامونو کې اوریدلې ده خو غواړو چې په پښتو خپرونه کې هم په خبرې وکړو د خپرونې میلمه د اقتصادي چارو کارپو د مرکزي آسیا او قفقاز د مطالعاتو د انسټیټوت څخه راغلی دی ما موکاسرتیلی ته په خپرونه کې خراغلاست وای ستړي مشي په خیر از ما نمره پختن داده چه آیا دوریسونو دلاری بیاره که اونا یا وقتی با میگن ما سعی داشتیم آو که یا یا وازی دم بیکار خوا دستی او مانور داده چه افغانستان در اطراف که اقتصادی پر پخپل آبانان داد منگی Thank you for your invitation. Uh, I will uh, go straight to answer your question. I think uh, we should realize that the uh, Silk Road concept was in, uh, existent and present even before this decision about coming into Afghanistan by U.S. troops or leaving Afghanistan was made. So it's a, it's a long-term project that uh, is built to connect uh, Asia to Europe via land bridge. And the uh, idea of, uh, of, uh, of building this bridge came from the commercial and uh, also somewhat political needs to connect these two parts of the world by alternative routes. Elements of this uh, land bridge are already in present and there are elements of let's say that connects China to Central Asia and then beyond to Caucasus and Europe. There are elements that uh, connect already as we know uh, Central Asia to Afghanistan. So there are different elements we can talk about for a long time but there are other elements and with or without U.S. presence in the region or not, this uh, idea, this concept of connecting two different parts of the world for commercial uh, needs, for exchange of goods, will be present and important. No, what role can the U.S. play in getting countries on board to achieve economic integration? The role of the U.S. play in getting countries on board to achieve economic integration? I didn't understand questions. So. Zma, what role can the U.S. play in getting countries on board to achieve economic integration? Uh, I think uh, it's clearly the leadership is important. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are cases like this in other parts of the world when there is a strong leader who wants to facilitate things from a political point of view. Such a project, infrastructure projects, other type of projects are easier to implement and develop. I think the U.S. has a role to play, it's an important role to play, to bring parties together, to bring different countries together, facilitate uh, uh, commercial projects uh, with the different type of uh, support, meaning both uh, support from the state agencies that provide additional credits, additional financial support, as well as political, which is very important in this part of the world. تاسو د امریکای پوځونو د وتلو خبره وکړه کله چې دا پوځي ځواکونه د افغانستان نه ووځي نو آیا امریکا به دغه نفوس چې اوس یې لري په سیمه کې په نورو هیوادونو ولري تر څو دغه هیوادونه د وریښمنو د لارې په برخه کې دغه ایدیا پر ځای کې او څنګه uh, clearly, when U.S. troops are uh, reduced in numbers in Afghanistan or leave Afghanistan, there will be less U.S. presence in, in the region. But again, I will go probably to, uh, to my first answer to your question. That I think uh, uh, this uh, project, this idea, this concept of, of uh, new Silk Road is coming from the needs of the countries of the region. Uh, and uh, countries need to trade to, with each other. Countries need to move goods from one uh, part of, uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the globe to another part of the globe and it will naturally cross Afghanistan as well because India needs to be connected to Central Asia uh, Pakistan needs to be connected to Central Asia, uh, Caucasus, Europe needs to be connected to all those countries, India, Pakistan, China. I think it's natural development it's, and what the role the U.S. could play is to just facilitate that. Mm -hmm. And whether the U.S. is there or not, as we said, leadership is important, political support is important, but we have to count on natural need. Unless there is a natural need, no one can impose this need to any of the countries. When U.S. leaves, there will be no, no need to, uh, no desire to trade unless it's not natural. A natural thing is that 
Afghans want to trade with Central Asians, Indians want to trade with Central Asians, Russians want to trade with Indians, Chinese want to trade with, with Caucasians. So all these things kind of intervene in this, in this area, mm -hmm. all these routes. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you.